For the record, so everybody's on the same page, I'm not the only disabled person that um, Cass County has wrongfully taken property from. Um, I'm, I, there's a list of people that I know about. For starters, I know one of the Ottingers had his property stolen from him. He's my cousin. And then there's, um, the lady from the Ed Lowe Foundation, you know, they wrongfully, um, um, took the property that they had from the Lowe Foundation and they, um, sold some of it to the electric company and then divvied some of it off to other people. When that property was also supposed to be in trust. So Cass County has a pattern of wrongfully taking disabled people's property and selling it or keeping it for themselves and divvying it up. This is why I'm going off because I'm not the only person this has happened to. This is the third or fourth time they've done this to me. When my mother died, I had five properties, five that were, um, willed to me and the Navy has the will. Um, all of these properties were rentable. They were in excellent shape. We took very good care of everything that we had. And when my mother died, my stepfather got pissed because he knew what was in the will. He signed it along with knowing he also signed the power of attorney for my mother as a witness. So he knew that the property didn't belong to him. And he still kept my, my um, rent money for my renters. He let the property go downhill really bad and trashed a lot of it. He's the one who allowed the drug addicts into my property that burnt all my antiques and my family heirlooms up. So um, I'm wondering when he's going to get arrested because there's also a 200, it's either 200 or $250,000 life insurance policy that he cashed in that he was not supposed to keep. I'm not the only person disabled. Um, also, my son is too. And there are laws against that in the state of Michigan again, um, for him, because he is not my biological father. He's not entitled to all of my mother's things. And in fact, a lot of the property that he stole came from my family. I'm a Peterson Capone. And so, you know, my mom had money. Where is all that? Because um, there, my dad, my biological father, it's documented through friend of the court, Carol Clark. He's also born dual. Um, he he's one of those Clarks. He paid child support for me my whole growing up. So where's all the assets and money from that? And then there's that whole education fund. My mom told me that there's like an education fund my dad put money into. My biological father, Carol Clark now. And all that's missing. And he's going to verify that. And on top of that, friend of the court has documents. I saw the check, so I know Carol paid my child support. So um, where's our stuff? Because I've got a large number uh, amount of property. It's into the millions that's been stolen here. Just the one property on Middle Crossing was worth close to a million dollars. That was an old farmhouse. It sat on two and a half acres. And it had two pieces of property in it. One's the house and the barn. Which also had a three bedroom apartment in it. So uh, just that property alone was, you know, after it was all fixed up and remodeled. We did a lot of remodeling on that was worth close to a million dollars. So, because when, when they bought it, it was $150,000, $200,000 that was paid for the property. And then that way it was condemned. It was condemned then. And we put all this money, me too, put all this money into this property. Where's our stuff? Where's my antiques? Where's my, all my, um, my son's comic book collection? He's got a comic book collection that's worth more than most people. And these people walked off with our stuff, but nobody's talking about any of that. This isn't about money for me. Yeah, there's, there's way, way more than that. So where's our stuff? We get to get our stuff stolen and nobody does anything about it because we're disabled? That's discrimination. That's a civil rights violation. Where's our stuff? Where's my daughter? Because they wrongfully took her too.